Hello. Hope you are having a great, great day today. I'm having a good day so far. Yesterday was the weigh-in day at work. So if you remember from last week, I gave what my weight was, which was 195 and some ounces. So I did my weigh-in yesterday and it was 195. So I've lost a couple pounds. Um, no, I have not lost a couple pounds. I lost a few ounces because again, it was already at 195 point. I don't remember if it was 0.5 or 0.3, but anyway, a week later it was 195 even. So that's a very good thing. And um, even today at work, was a little bit casual and dressed because we were having a little um, teaming event. So someone was like, you are continuing to lose weight. And I'm like, well, yeah, a little bit, but I haven't lost much since um, the end of September again, because I've been around that 195 mark. Um, I'm like, but I'm losing inches, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, I for real didn't get on here to talk about the weight. Just wanted to share because I did not post yesterday for my weekly accountability with the whole weight weigh-in thing. So update, bam, 195, so I did lose some ounces. But, you know, you get off work and you for real like don't want to do nothing. But I took some stuff out so I could cook a little soup with some leftovers. So I'm like, let me go ahead and make this little soup online but i'm not feeling it for real i'm gonna do it i'm gonna show you what the ingredients are it's gonna be nice simple easy because you know i'm gonna throw some stuff together oh man i gotta turn the camera so i don't even want to turn the camera yet i have some leftover pork that i'm gonna use i got got a red pepper i've got a zucchini and a squash i'm gonna have a little bit of um fresh garlic got some bone broth well gosh <laughs> a little bit of bone broth in the little container that I'm going to add to the soup also. So I'm thinking I want to try to make it like a little Vietnamese pho without noodles. Well, my noodles would be the zucchini. Have my spiralizer that I'm going to spiralize. But again, I just got the stuff sitting there. I haven't got busy yet. But let's do it, all right? All right, time to get started. I've already put some, um, cut up the red pepper and some garlic. I have that sauteing with some butter in the skillet. If you hear the music, I don't own the rights to it. <laughs> it's not me playing music. It's some more music coming from downstairs. So I've got my um, zucchini and I have a squash that I'm going to spiralize to go in along with, I'll be adding in some bone broth. And say I have some leftover um, pork that'll be the meat in my soup. Okay, let's get ready to spiralize. I hope the music doesn't interfere and I get blocked or something. We'll see what happens when I get ready to post. So, if you guys are familiar with the spiralizers, this is mine from inside. Spiralized. Maybe I can tag them in it, right, as I'm doing this. So, of course, you first have to position the veggie or fruit on here. So, again, it's just a matter of sticking it on that hole. Oh, gosh. Right there, so you can see it. Stick it in the hole and then pushing this in to get it situated. So, that's pretty much the premise. Once you get it situated in, there's different little dials on the side that you dial the, the size noodle you want. So I'm doing it on um, sec on dial D so that I can get noodles. So let's see how handy dandy this is gonna be. So if you're not familiar, they've got it's like a little handle on here that you can hold. And these little things are supposed to make it stay on your cabinet top, on your countertop. But that doesn't always work so well for me. But we'll see. Let's go. Hopefully we'll get some type of spiralizing out the deal. For you to see. Oh, it's not a good fit right here at the beginning. But there we go. Keep it moving. 
season. That's how long it takes. So again, this is just one, and you know, one zucchini. You see me doing it here. And there we go. I'm going to do the same thing with the um, squash. Stay tuned. We're cooking with fire. <laughs> okay, here we go. So far... Got the red bell pepper, the garlic, the zucchini, as well as the pork that I had. I'm gonna put the top on there, and then I'm gonna add the um, spiralize my squash, and then add that also. I told you I was losing weight, so my pants are really too big. My pants are really too big. Butter will make your pants fall off. Anyway, here we go. Spiralizing the squash. I hate sometimes when it does that and it like breaks it into pieces. Little half moon shapes. But it's okay. Not sure why it does that sometimes, but here we go. Got messages coming in on the phone that I was trying to look at also. So end with that. Then you end up with a little piece like this, and I'll just end up slicing up, adding in also. Okay, more to be added to the pot, along with the broth. All right, got the squash in there too now. Next, I am going to add this bone broth. All righty, this is it, cooking, doing its thing. So there's spiralized zucchini. Spiralized squash, cut up red pepper, got some garlic in there, got a little bit of onion, and some leftover pork, along with some bone broth. So, my little take on a Vietnamese pho with spiralized veggie noodles versus real noodles. Looking forward to eating it looks pretty good huh smells delicious too here bubbling and the boiling coming on together right yum 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 good you know you got to season your water right so i seasoned the water up real good even threw a touch of lorries in there the bone broth that i used was chicken with ginger it was only eight ounces of bone broth so so, looking forward to my little quick Vietnamese style pho. I thought about adding a little um, spinach to it, but I don't think I will. Because I want it to be a little brothy. Not that the spinach would take away, but I just want it to be a little bit brothy. So, I don't think I'm going to add anything else. And we got the zucchini that's got my greenness in it, right? All right, folks, I'm going to let this continue to simmer for a bit and look forward to and enjoying it soon. Okay, so I decided if I'm going to have soup, I should have some type of bread, right, to sop it up with. So I made some, well, I haven't made it yet. I just mixed up a little bit of keto 90-second microwave bread that I added some mozzarella cheese and some shredded cheese to. So let's get that going. 
Alrighty, here's the keto bread, fresh out of the microwave, 90 seconds later. It's delicious. I may brown it a little bit just because, but I am going to cut it into three pieces again, like I normally do. And it's carb free. Yay! I'm winning. And I got to hold three slices out again. I can't draw a straight line, so definitely can't cut a straight line, but still three pieces. And it's tasty.